Hello. In this video, I'm going to go over the best cloud computing certificates that you can get to help you land an entry level job as a cloud admin or a cloud engineer. Stay to the end of the video and I'll be going over step by step on how you can land a cloud computing job. If you are new to my channel, this channel is all about helping you upskill and land a job in tech. So go ahead and smash that like button below. And to thank you, here is a picture of Kuchenhof. This is a beautiful place in the Netherlands and it's magical and one day you should go visit. Some questions you may have when getting cloud computing certificates are cloud computing certificates even worth it? And the answer is yes. So within cloud computing and cybersecurity and information technology, certificates are very important. Now, if you want to go the developer route, they're not really so important, but they're important for several reasons. The first reason is compliance. A lot of companies need to have people with these certificates for compliance reasons. Oftentimes they can also charge the customer more money if their employees have these certificates. So if you're working for a consulting company or a contracting company, it can benefit you a lot and can help you land a job. Now, not all of them are created equal. Some have better, more weight than other ones. And I'll discuss that in this video. Another good reason, it does validate knowledge to human resources and the hiring manager. And if they look at your resume or your LinkedIn, they can quickly verify and validate that you have this knowledge. Now, it doesn't mean you're not going to get a technical interview. However, it does mean you may help you land an interview. The third reason, and probably my favorite reason, is it helps you structure your learning. Now, learning cloud computing, you can find a lot of the information for free online. However, a lot of people deal with information overwhelm. You could go into circles and not know what to do, um, or if you have the correct knowledge or not. And so when you go through these certificates, there's usually a structured, amount of information that you need to know and they tell you what it is and there's usually a lot of study resources around this and it's a really good way to learn the foundations and know that you're on the right track. Also, what are some factors? When choosing a cloud computing certificate, some things you're going to want to look at are who are the marketplace drivers? And as of currently, it's AWS, Google, and Azure. There are some other, well, lesser known ones in the, the cloud computing industry, which you could learn as more niche skills usually pay more money. And so if less people know about it, uh, you may have be able to command higher wages. However, the market, the amount of jobs asking for those skills are maybe a little bit lower. The second factor to consider is what industry are you in? So each industry uses a different cloud computing platform or even every company. And so look at what company you're in or what industry you're in and learn that one as it's a lot easier to change jobs within your own industry than it is just to hop into a new job and a new industry. So look at that. So if you are say a nurse, look at the healthcare industry, see the, the nuances of cloud computing in the health industry and go and get those certificates that your company currently uses. It, it'll be a much easier process in changing your job into cloud computing. The third one to consider is what one do you like best? For instance, I know people who hate Microsoft. So maybe Azure probably might not be the best place to start. Let's get into the foundational certificates for cloud computing. The first one I'm going to start with is going to be the CompTIA Cloud Plus. Now this is vendor neutral, meaning that it doesn't correlate with any service provider such as AWS, Google, or Azure. It simply just teaches you the foundation of cloud computing. Some things you're going to learn are capacity planning, scaling in the cloud, identity access management for cloud computing, deployment of the cloud, security for cloud basics, operations and support, and the list goes on and on. I believe this is a really good foundational start to get into if you don't know anything about cloud computing is very thorough and the exam costs around $381. I don't see a lot of job descriptions asking for the CompTIA Cloud Plus. That doesn't mean you shouldn't get it as it can help you test your knowledge and have you something study and structure your learning. The next one on my list and that is actually a little bit more popular is the CCSK. I saw 820 jobs on Indeed with this, but essentially it teaches you the basics of 
cloud computing and cloud computing basic knowledge of security and things like governance risk and management within cloud computing cloud computing architecture legal issues disaster recovery incident response virtualization which is the, the backbone of cloud computing so if you're wanting to get into cloud security this is a really good entry level cloud security exam the ccsk examination is 395 dollars and you do get to take it twice so if you fail you get another free voucher which i think is a fantastic deal now aws also has their foundational certificate it costs 100 usd and teaches you the basic aws the other foundational certificate is for Azure, and then Google also has the Digital Leader One that teaches you essentially everything you need to know about Google Cloud and how it operates. And when I say you should get two, you could choose a vendor neutral. One also has its benefits as it makes you more marketable because you know those services. And within cloud computing, all of these basics are the same for cloud computing, but each one has a different method of like working, which makes it a little bit difficult. The next class of cloud computing certificates is associate certificates. This is one level up from say entry level, and it usually requires around one year of experience. These are mostly vendor specific cloud computing certificates. AWS has the solutions architect certification and the DevOps engineer certification. Those are great paths to go down. Azure has two, the Azure administrator associate. So if you want to become a system administrator, you may want to look at the Azure cloud one. You learn implement, manage, monitor, identity, governance, storage. And this is definitely where IT jobs are going is kind of like a, a cloud system administrator versus maybe on-prem for a little bit, but yeah. Also there's an Azure developer certificate. Now software development isn't that big on cloud computing. So whether or not you want to get a developer certificate depends on your own career path. Also Google Cloud has an associate certificate and it costs around $125. You'll learn how to set up a cloud solution environment, deploy and implement a cloud solution, configure access and security, plan and configure a cloud solution and ensure successful operation of a cloud solution. These are all really good skills to get. The next class within cloud computing certificates are specialty and expert. These are where you're going to niche down to a certain topic and really get into the nitty gritty of a certain topic. Within the, the cloud computing, there are tons of different paths you can take. You could go down the security route. I do have a video about cloud security right here. You could do data analytics. You could do databases, machine learning. You could do security. And if you receive one of these certificates, then it makes you extremely competitive in the job market. So for Google, Google has a cloud architect, a cloud database engineer, data engineer, a cloud developer, cloud DevOps engineer, cloud security engineer, cloud network engineer, Google workspace administrator, machine learning engineer, specialty cloud computing certificates. So that is a lot. And if we go to AWS, there's security, there's data analytics, databases, SAP on AWS, uh, machine learning, advanced networking. These are all really good paths to get into. Also, if we go to the Microsoft Azure, if that is your favorite one, I don't know why it would be, but you have work related roles. So instead of going by specialties, they have AI engineer, solutions architect, data scientist, security engineer, DevOps engineer, all kind of the same ones as the Google and the AWS ones. I would go ahead and take a look at it. And these are going to cost you around $300. Those are very vendor specific ones. If we go and look at vendor neutral, cloud computing certificates, we have the CCSP, and this is created by the same organization that has created the CISSP, ISC squared, and very reputable. It's on over 3,000 job boards. It's a relatively new certificate and costs around $599, but it does teach you the basics of cloud security. If you're wanting to become a cloud security engineer or a cloud security manager, uh, but it teaches you cloud architecture and design, cloud cloud data security, cloud platform and infrastructure security, cloud application security, legal risk and compliance and all of that fun store. This certificate to me might be the best one to get simply because it's vendor neutral and teaches you a broad basis of all of cloud security, which are very valuable skills to have. And it's really good if you want to go into management. All right, so step by step, what would I do? So someone had asked so far, it seems like I'll need an OS cert like Linux plus, 
then basic coding skills like a Python cert, then fundamentals like CompTIA A+, Cloud Essential cert. My question is, what is necessary in your opinion? Do I need the CompTIA A+, CompTIA Network+, Security+, Project+, Cloud Essentials, and then Cloud+, then Cloud Practitioner, and move up the Associates to Pro to Specialist ladder, or is this too much? I'm trying to minimize time and money while also building the needed skill set to be successful and competitive as possible what do you suggest? Now, I feel like this probably touches on a lot of pain points that a lot of people have as information overwhelm is a big thing and you're gonna listen to different people and then you're gonna be like, well, I need all of these certs, I need Python, I need to learn all of it. Well, let me give you step by step on exactly what to do. The first step would be, I would get two foundational certificates in that first section. So maybe an Azure in AWS, or maybe a Cloud Plus in an AWS certificate, um, or a CCSK as that is upcoming and like a Google Cloud platform, if that's the path you would want to go into. So get two foundational certificates. The next step to landing a cloud computing job is I would learn the basics of Python, um, and Linux. Now you don't need to be a, like a pro on this, but knowing the basics and understanding the structure of like the Linux file system and basic commands, and then also the basics of Python. So maybe take an intro to Python course uh, would be extremely beneficial just because it gets you thinking about things in a certain way. And also you'll, you'll have a better understanding of what is going on. Uh, I wouldn't, get the certificates for either one of these. I don't think they're they're necessary and they're not really asked for. Maybe just create a home lab and then show your work through documentation. The step three is I would go through a specialty. I wouldn't wait until I finish my specialty cer cloud certificate to start applying to jobs. But while I was applying to jobs, I would continue this cloud computing specialty and then make sure that the hiring manager and human resources know what exactly I'm studying for um, and make sure that it's well known that this is the path that I wanna go down. I wanna do cloud security and maybe they'll put you in a cloud administrator position or IAM cloud position where you're deprovisioning and creating accounts or something of that easy, something of that sort, but just make sure that they know that you would like to progress and that you're showing initiative that you are trying to progress. This is just an entry level job you're trying to get. You're not trying to like go for a manager job. And then once you land that first job, I would evaluate if you even like your job and then just come back to my channel and figure out other career opportunities that you could do within the tech industry. So maybe you can like continue doing what you're doing. That's how I would land a entry level cloud computing job. Utilize cloud computing certificates. And if you're interested, I do have this playlist over here that does go into cloud computing and how to start your career in cloud computing if you're interested. Uh, so please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.